In this lesson, we're going to create a little program to look at environment variables. So pull up Visual Studio and let's create a new project. So, uh, I want us to do a Windows form because that I just don't like console apps. So let's just do, I'm going to call it environment E N V I. R-I-R-O-N-M-E-T-V-A-R-I-N-S -E and you can add this to a program you already have that hello world or whatever you want but I'm just going to put it in its own solution and so I'm going to call it environment variables and this is really just an illustration you don't have to do this if you don't want to but it would be a good exercise for you Okay, so we've got our form, and I want it smaller, and um, I want to put a table layout panel in it. Okay, so I don't know exactly how many we're going to use. I know it's just going to be one column though. Um, no, we'll make it two. Um, and we're going to add some more rows. And then we're going to edit. Let's see. Let's edit rows and columns. So I want them all the same. I'm just going to make them all 50%. And then what it'll do is it'll just, whatever it is, it'll make them all equal. And then we're going to fill it, make it duck style fill. Okay, and um, those are kind of big. Uh, we might add some more. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's um, let's add some labels. Let's create a label. find it out of the toolbox and we'll just call it label copy and I'm just going to fill these all up I'm going to paste them in okay uh, that's good we're going to say on this one we're just going to say for the text I want username instead of label one I want username it can keep the name label one I don't care um, and label two we'll change that to name And then we can call this name label. And the reason I'm wanting to give it an actual name is because if we don't, we will forget, oh, that was label two I called name. This one's here, let's call PC. Um, I'm going to hit Control Z. It can keep that name. But we're going to say PC. And this one here, I'm going to delete it. I might put in a label in a second. And this label, label four, we will call, give it a name of uh, PC. And we'll call it PC label. Okay, so these here, these two, we can change their doc to doc style right. Okay, um, and we'll say get text alignment is, well, control Z there, <laughs> we didn't want that. I just, I didn't want the whole table, I just wanted these two labels. Let's 
So I'm going to click these two labels again. And I'm going to say dock style right. That's what we want. And these here dock, they can stay where they are. We can keep those dock style left. Okay. So, um, I'm going to put a colon behind that just in case they run together. We don't want that. And the PC, we'll put a column behind that too. Okay, so let's run this real quick and see what we have. Save it and run it. Okay, that's what we want. So let's go to the program, the source code, and I'm going to create a load method. I'm going to do it on the event where it's already highlighted load, it's blue, so I'm just going to double click that. And so then it's going to pull my code up for me. And um, this is all this program is going to do is display some environment variables. And so we don't need to add anything up here. It's already default with Windows. But let's say like a name label dot text equals and we're gonna set call something environment environment user name. Okay. Now then we're gonna say PC label text equals environment PC uh, see what other choices I might have forgot it's been a long time since I oh maybe it's machine 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 name and there's others also And so, like, if you just say that you have command line, current directory, um, we could find all these things. Folder, get folder path, uh, machine name. We've already. You're gonna use this OS version. We can get that. Um, processor count, special folders. There's all these kind of things. Domain name. Uh, yours probably, if you're just sitting at home doing this, you're probably not going to have a domain name. But if you're at work doing it on your work computer, there's a domain name. And so, so anyway, but that's all we're going to get is these two things. So let's run this. I know I said you didn't have to do this, and you don't, but um, you might want to. Uh, go ahead and get one started because I'm going to have an assignment for us in the next lesson. So let's get going and we'll work on that.